Here is the, ooh, this is a nice color. Ooh. Seems like people are very hyped about this board. Like I haven't been like avidly watching it, but they did send me two PCBs, which I'm unsure why. I'm not gonna do plate. I think the uh, the idea here is we're gonna do a plateless build. Uh, the mouse is done by Leonardo de Mouse. They did send a plate over though. So I am still not 100% certain. Oh, one's a 1.2? I thought there was only a 1.6. Well, I'm going to use the 1.2. We are using linear switches. I think Diego did tactiles. If you, if you would like me to do plate just for variety, that's what we're here for. This isn't like, you know, end of the world thing. Yeah, daughter board, cables, tons of screws. I don't know what the hell these are all for. And the keyboard. Cute color. It's a nice little... Martingale to 2022. Okay. I'll, I'll put up a vote thing in a second. Do plateless today, then rebuild later with plate? Perhaps. Let's take a look at the board though. Let's move some stuff out of the way here. I need this stuff in front of me. Here is the board. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. That wasn't, that was anticlimactic. Hold on. Here is the, ooh, this is a nice color. Ooh, I'm kind of a sucker for this kind of blue. Okay, so price point wise, this does run. <laughs> when I first saw the pricing for this, when it was like 300 plus dollars, I was like, Fuck, I really hope they can get this a little bit lower because 300 plus dollars just seems like way too much money for this. This is, I think gonna be, they. There's no set pricing that, from what I saw, but it seems like it's gonna be sub 250, which I still think is a little bit expensive uh, for not having a weight, but um, we're gonna see how this sounds. Cause it does have a few things which I think is really cool. It does have the kind of, uh, you guys might remember this from the bias TKL. So Bion, I think, gave this keyboard the okay on this, but it has that stepped inside. So the one thing this has going for it is it'll have like a very nice uh, low front height, which is beautiful. We love seeing that kind of stuff on boards. I, I love it personally. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty simple looking keyboard. Um, they did say the wedge was inspired by the matrix boards. I'm gonna just call it what it is. It looks like a box on wedge to me. I don't think this is inspired by anything personally. It just looks like a standard box on wedge. Um, maybe with that little bit of a, you know, lip there in the front, but uh, box on wedge design. So pretty classic. You can see just how like minimal this board is in terms of that. Um, I would have loved to see, you know, some stuff on the bottom here. It is a very simple bottom. The argument is, uh, I mean, it's the bottom of the keyboard. I keep, I keep getting that argument a lot. Still would have loved to see a little something something on this guy. But here's the board. Looks interesting. Decided to try it out. A lot of people have been very hyped for this. I've also been a little bit excited just because I like plateless boards and I love the step design here from uh, Mr. Bion. Where do you put the 205 and cherry clippings? Um, same idea. I uh, plug the back of the stabilizer. You guys will see. And then I'll just brush in a little bit of lube on the corners. I appreciate these bubble feet, by the way. I know some people think they're dumb, but I kind of like them because if you end up losing these, and some keyboards I've had where even though I think it's not the best, or you know, it's a good foot, like a whatever it is, but you're supposed to use all 16. The brass seems to work well with the blue. I wish I could see this unit in person. You haven't seen the blue yet in person? It does look good. So this screw acts as the screw for both the case and the other thing. And <gasps> what happened to this? Oh no. This JST is kind of bad. It's okay, I can fix it. We have another one, it's okay. Apparently the other one doesn't work though. All right, I should be able to leave that like that and it not cause a problem, but we'll see. Mm -mm. 
Is there supposed to be gaskets with this somewhere? Or is this just screw into the top frame? It's just it's just top frame, right? All right, top mount. Just just to make sure, Elvin. No gaskets, okay. Uh, where is all the screws over here? Maybe these guys. Let's put these in now. PCB top mount. Should sound really good with this too. Do I have this the right way? I do. This is just like FR4 material technically. So it's kind of like having a polycarbonate plate for this. Although I will admit, I'm a little surprised by picking a mounting point underneath the space bar Elvin. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have confidence that this is gonna be an amazing sounding space bar. Just a little bit surprised. I'm not gonna over tighten these either. Almost tempted to even just use like wob or something today. Cause I, I feel like it would let the, the case do more of the talking. But I think fundamentals is a great choice for this. I just think it would look nice. Like it's not, it's gonna have a little bit of character but it's all up to you guys too. It's whatever you guys wanna see. Right now I am just adding some lubricant into the, the butt of these st stabs over here. In case you guys are wondering what I'm doing. No accent is premium. Should we do no accent? So this is the Martingale. This is 1.6 millimeter PCB. We're using summertime Gateron switches. Uh, what else can I say about this? Cherry clip-in stabs, GMK keycaps. Let's see what this sounds like. I have a weird feeling. I'm. I'm probably gonna go back in and do something to the space bar, uh, being changed the way that it's mounted on the actual keyboard itself. Purple, isn't it? Hey, you guys voted. I know some of you guys didn't, but. Little HJ test for you guys. Very classic top mount sound. Definitely hear a little bit of resonance in it, but it's not like a bad thing where it's like super distracting from the board. One of the more unique sounding boards too. I like the way this sounds. I do. It has that, that like that classic top mount sound mixed in with a little bit of that plateless bass. I am curious about the space bar though. Sumi, I am. Uh, I I do want to go in and change the space bar up. <clears throat> oh, the, the PCB worked fine, Elvin. Uh, screwdriver kit. Oh, here it is. New space bar? I don't think it's the switch, guys. I just think it's the way that it's mounted. I'll sh see if we can show you guys here what I mean. How do I get a top mount to not sound hollow? Uh, To not sound hollow? I feel like top mounts do have typically that, again, signature sound that might seem like it's a bit hollow, but. Okay, I'm gonna try first doing this and just taking off the screws. Let's see if that changes anything up. I'm not gonna, just gonna kind of pseudo put it together here and see what it sounds like now. Okay, I need to screw this together or else it's gonna rattle a little bit. Hold on, let's screw it together here. Top mount hollowness gives it character. I mean, that's the whole point of building a top mount. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like top mount, you have this, it's a signature sound that 100% sounds like top mount and you know what it sounds like. So I have no quarrels with that, again, usual resonance you get with it. In fact, I was even telling you guys, I've been leaning towards top mounts lately. 
I don't quite like them as much as I like the O-ring and then, you know, even like the Envoy's iteration of gaskets, but I've definitely been leaning towards them. I like this more. Is it different or is it just me? It's a little brighter, I feel, yeah. Hey, everyone's entitled to their own kind of thought process on it. Suits my style more, but uh, nice sounding keyboard. Hmm. Let's put it back. Let's put it back the way it was just to see the difference one more time. Your videos help me get into this hobby. Love seeing the keyboard community builds. Hey, dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that saber. How about pour on gaskets? What you mean, Bruno? Oh, Bruno, did you send me a build request, by the way? If so, I believe I couldn't respond to your email because it kept saying failed to deliver. So I sent you a DM on Insta, or no, on what's it called there? Um, wow, I why am I blanking? Discord. Spacebar sounds a little more dense. Yeah, I also felt like it was a slight bit better, more up my alley, but you know what? I'm interested to see one more time this. Hmm, it does sound different. The alphas sound delicious on this though. Love that top mount alpha. I prefer it the other way. I prefer not screwing it in more. My, that's my preference. Yeah. Yeah, the alphas sound really good on this. The switches overall do feel good. Like I have to admit, they they sort of do remind me of BCPs a little bit, but just not quite as like harsh as a BCP. There's the modifiers for you guys. Yeah, personally, I think leaving the screws off the bottom mounting point is the way to go with this. Backspace is good, yeah. Again, very low front height as well on this keyboard. So it is super comfortable to type on. Interesting how well this works without a weight. Uh, in terms of everything else though, I think price point, again, I'm gonna speak honestly here. I think price point's a little higher than I personally like with this. I think like a 220 range. Again, I think it, I don't think there's a final price on this yet. But like the 200 to 220 range, I think would be more uh, my thing just because it doesn't have a weight on the back. Will you try a plate? Yeah, I'll do a plate to build tomorrow. But let's just assume it's gonna hit that 250 range. Uh, it's about 250. Oh, it's coming with two PCBs. Oh, that's not bad for two PCBs then. If it comes with both the PCBs, for some reason I didn't read that. Um, but if it comes with both PCBs, 250 is a little bit more acceptable for sure. That's two builds you get out of the board. I like that. But if it was just for one, I'd be a little bit kind of hesitant on that. But yeah, it's, it's nice looking keyboard. Very pretty. Uh, super simple. Internals are probably what makes you want to go for this, something like this anyways. Anno is really good on it. Not really much of a shower on the back though, like we talked about earlier. But very pretty. Sounds good for what it is too. Top mounts, plateless, even with no weight, sounds pretty good. Something that I feel like would have been really easy to implement is perhaps the use of Tadpole or even some sort of silicone gasket as an alternative mounting style. Cause it kind of looked like from the internals, you sort of had a structure kind of going on already where that's why I was like, oh, does this have like Tadpole mounts? And I feel like it might've been very easy to implement as an additional mounting style. But uh, I mean, as it is right now, I think the keyboard sounds pretty good. Is it very light, light, right? What do you mean? It, oh yeah, the keyboard is not very heavy, no. This is super light. Bye everybody, love you, bye.